challenges for us. They're going to pack their defense in, which we haven't seen. You know, we played against South Carolina, who extends uh, extends their defense, and so um, be a little bit different playing against a little more packed in uh, defense. They, they're very long. They're six nine, um, six eight, six eight. Or six eight, six nine, and, and uh, six eleven across their front line at the three, four, and five. So um, they're six four and six five in the backcourt. So that'll pose some problems. We have to do a good job on the backboards. They killed us on the backboards last year. We've got a lot of the same personnel back outside of uh, Maiden, who's obviously a great player. So uh, we're gonna have to do a, a, a better job on the better job on the backboards than we did against them um, last year. So. Certainly uh, pleased that um, Cavell got uh, Conference Player of the Week. That was good. He's earned it. Um, did a um, did a great job and's been working really hard and posted uh, posted back to back double doubles. So that was uh, that was good. Well, I mean, every game's different. They get, I mean. This is college basketball. This is this is you, you got a different team every day. So I mean, you know, there's you know you got guys who you, you get different different groups every day. So it's not as simple as just you know we got to win today. We got to have good practices today. We've got to have good workouts today, and we got to win tomorrow. And then hopefully that'll put us in position to win on Wednesday. So you can't. It's not something that you look too far ahead about, or you you can't um, worry about what's gonna you know what's gonna happen. We're worried about getting better today and doing what we can to put ourselves in a position to play well against Georgia on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. I mean, that's, that's what matters. There's so many other factors that go into everything. You can't, can't look very far ahead in this, in this deal. <coughs> really nice. I mean, did a great job. Did a great job. He kind of got a little bit out of himself against Arkansas. He kind of got a little too caught up in in uh, you know the one-on-one -on -one matchup, he didn't really play to his strengths. He tried to kind of be somebody he's not. And when he plays to his strengths, like he's done in three of the four SEC games, he's one of the best, one of the best big guys in the SEC with his energy and how hard he plays and how hard he runs. And um, you know, just really, it's just as simple as hey, be yourself. You don't have to be anybody else. You just got to be the best version of yourself, and that'll be um, that'll be plenty good enough. Well, Billy, I mean, did you watch the two Georgia games last year? Huh? We don't have anybody in that locker room that's beaten Georgia. All right? We didn't beat them two years ago. We got, we got blasted at their place last year. We lost here. We're 0-3 against Georgia. So, I mean, if you can't get excited to beat, to beat Georgia, we don't have anybody that's beaten Georgia. So that should be motivation enough that we need to, we need to, uh, that, that, that we need to play better because we, they got a lot of guys in that locker room that have, Beating the hell out of LSU a few times, so we we um, we, we need to we need to make sure that <clears throat> we're ready to play and do something that we haven't done, which is beat them. We haven't beaten them in in, in, in three years, so it'd be nice if we could we could uh, focus on that. I just think, I mean, you look at our bench, you look how into it everybody on our bench is. Uh, we've got just a good way about us. You know, it's everybody. Uh, I, I told this the other day. I mean, our scout team does a phenomenal job. you got Cortese Cooper, who's going to be a good player for us now. Kid with a red shirt and 6'9", kid. He's going to be – we hit on him out of junior college. He's, he's, he's put on some weight. He's going to be a really good player for us. But you got Coop and you got Andre Hyatt, who, who can't play in game – well, they could, I guess, but we're red shirting both of them. They, they give us a great look in practice. I mean, Hyatt's an absolute – I mean, you've been in there. You've seen, I mean, he's a, he's a sniper. So anybody who's got a shooter, you know, he, he, he does a great job. Marshall Graves is tremendous on the scout team. Will Reese is as smart a player as we have, and he does a great job on the scout team. I mean, so those guys, you know, those guys – it's not just the guys who play. Those guys understand what it takes to help our, help our team prepare. And those scout team guys have done a phenomenal job. I said that in front of the team the other day. I thought – they did it. They did it. They got us ready to go against Arkansas. They had us as prepared as we could for that Arkansas game, and um, um, including Coop looking like Gafford in practice. We couldn't stop Cooper in practice, just like we couldn't stop Gafford in the game. 
but but um, th those guys did a did do a great job preparing. Our other guys, you know, and those guys play their role. You know, Marshall and, and Will are great on the bench, and, and obviously Coop and, and, and Hyatt and Dre. No, they're not going to get in, but they're they're into the game. Uh, Marshall's is Marshall's smart as smart as heck now, basketball wise. He knows what's going on. He has great suggestions. He's able to talk to the guys. Like have another coach over there, and then you've got the guys who who are playing, and and you know everybody's with the eight man rotation. Everybody's getting plenty of minutes. They enjoy being around each other. We share the ball uh, extremely well. Uh, we pass, you know, sometimes we almost overpass, um, trying to get a little too cute, a little too fancy sometimes. But I just think we've got a good rhythm to us, a good chemistry about us right now. And, um, you know, it's because the guys enjoy being around each other. They enjoy um, each other. And, you know, we got a bunch of different personalities, but that's what makes it uh, that's what uh, that's what makes it fun. And so we're having a fun time. It's fun. They're fun to coach. We've had, a, you know, the last month or so has been been a lot of fun and we're continuing to get better. And and uh, we're going to keep uh, keep it moving. How much of that is like something A little bit of both. I mean, you got to put them in positions where, where they'll get outside their comfort zone and, and maybe, um, you know, hang out with people who they wouldn't necessarily hang out with uh, b b before. But, um, you know, we try to do that as much by who we room everybody with on the road, who we were, you know, we, we, we're pretty um, – uh, you know, we, we, we try to be very direct with what we're doing to make sure that we're connecting people that need to connect and make sure that we've got the right guys, uh, you know, the right guys uh, with, with the right guys, if that makes sense. And, and then, um, you know, we don't want anybody, anybody left behind, and so we want everybody to, everybody to um, you know, connect with somebody and connect with a group of people on our team, and I feel like we have that right now. Right now we don't even have, we don't have any, I mean, we've got one group which is what you want. You know, I mean, Cody, you played. You know, most teams you got a group of guys that hang out here, a group you got two or three groups. I mean, we got one we got one pretty solid group right now, which is which is good. Well, I'll be excited when we do all that in one game. But um, until then, I'm trying to figure out how to get us to do that all in one game. Um, you know, but I, I do think, you know, we got a versatile team. We can, we can, uh, we can do things. We can win games uh, different ways, which is different than how we how we were. Uh, but we um, we still got uh, a lot of work to do. There's no shortcuts. Um, you know, and, and we've got to, we've got to just really. Lock down on the details and lock down on what we do. We got we, we, we got to get better. Well, we didn't handle it very well the first time we were ranked. Um, that's why we were out of that thing pretty quick. So, um, I mean, hopefully we'll handle it better. But when when, when you get ranked, I mean, you know, you, what I said earlier, there's no shortcuts. No shortcuts. You, you, your human nature is to relax. Human nature is to uh, to give in a little bit. You got to fight human nature. You got to double down on what you do. You got to be tougher with what you do. You got to be better with your details. You got to be better with how hard you compete. You got to be better with how connected you are as a group. All that stuff's um, all that stuff's got to be better. And uh, hopefully, uh, we've learned from 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 the first go around with this because we we handled it uh, very very poorly the first go around. Yeah, this is an athlete. This is as athletic a group as I've coached, and so that's what you want. I mean, we realized real quickly about halfway through the year last year, you better have athletes in this league, and we just we 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 um, you got to go out and get go out and get them. Um, and so you know, it's this is a athletic league. Everybody's got good players. Everybody's got good athletes, and uh, we felt like we we had some ground to make up there. And my staff did a great job identifying some guys and going out and and uh, and getting some guys that. Um, that could uh, um, that, that could make a difference for us, and I do feel like we're long, we're athletic, and um, you know we get that into the game, which is more important. You can be long and athletic and not get it into the game, but our guys do a good job of of getting that into the game.